It's TBT 2022, the chase for $1 million, winner take all. We come to you from Wichita, Kansas. It is day one and game one of the Wichita Regional. The seven seed, Bleed Green, takes on the two seed, Everline Drive. And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Welcome in. Brock Bowling and former Baylor standout King McClure with you. And King, TBT is here. First day of the Wichita Regional. You played in this tournament last year with Team Heartfire. What's it like? What makes it special? Well, I was just talking to the refs, and they told me it's going to be physical. So that's one thing to look for. The physicality in this game will be on display. Let's go over the TBT overview, if you will, for the basketball tournament, this annual summer event. It is the $1 million winner-take-all prize, the ninth straight year for this tournament. This year, 64 teams in the field, eight regions, eight regional winners advanced to Dayton this weekend. Last year's champion, Bayheim's Army, the Syracuse alumni team. As we take a look at the bracket, for the Wichita Regional, this is the first day of the Regional. Four games on the docket. We have the Aftershocks playing late tonight against We Are D3. Our next game after this one is the Air Raiders against the B1 Ballers. And later on tonight at 7 Eastern, it's Purple and Black against the Lone Star Legends. Let's talk about this matchup here today. We start with Everline Drive. Everline Drive, the two seed in this year's tournament in the Wichita Regional. There you see the record over the years for Everline Drive. One of two original TBT teams in this field this year. The other one is Sideline Cancer. This team lost in the finals to Overseas Elite four years ago. A very talented roster. We start King with one of those players on the roster for Everline Drive, number 23, Marcus Thornton. And Marcus Thornton is in the building. NBA vet, LSU grade Marcus Thornton, SEC player of the year, average 20 and five in college. Average 12 over his, his, his career in the NBA. This guy right here is looking to lead Eberline Drive to success, especially in this game. But he's not the only NBA player they have on this team. Omari Spellman, you see the guy right there, Villanova legend, led him to a national championship. This guy right here in the interior, they have an inside out two-man punch right here that I'm looking forward to see. It'll be a tough challenge for the Bleed Green. And on the other side of the coin for Bleed Green, the seven seed in the Wichita Regional. This is the North Texas alumni team in its first ever season playing in TBT, founded by North Texas walk-ons, including J.J. Murray and a player that will play today, D.J. Draper and King. This team is led by someone you know at number 12, Shannon Shorter. Yeah, this team hits very close to home. Shannon Shorter, a guy who I have played against numerous times. The guy can get buckets. He can fill it up from deep. Him versus Marcus Stoyden, two vets, two experienced, mature guys. This will be a great battle, a great test. I'm looking forward to seeing this, man. How about you, Brock? Are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Let's go over the rules of TBT, sponsored by Sling. We play four nine-minute quarters. A player will foul out once he commits his sixth personal foul of the game. FIBA goaltending rules in effect, which states that any player can touch the ball once it hits the rim, except on free throw attempts. And of course, the Elam ending is implemented in all games this season in TBT. All games end on a slingshot. It's sponsored by Sling TV, home of the best deal for streaming sports, news, and entertainment. And King, you've seen the TBT Elam ending. You've been a part of it as a player and as a broadcaster. What do you like best about it? Man, I like the fact that you're no longer waiting until the clock hits zero, zero, zero. It's about getting buckets at the end of the game, going out there, who can score eight points first. It's all about managing the score, managing your lead, managing the deficit. You're no longer playing against the clock. You cannot stall. You cannot try to foul and put the team on the free throw line. You have to score, put the ball in the hole, give the people and the broadcasters what we want to see. And every game has to end on a made basket. Let's go over the starting lineups. First for the higher seeded team, the Everline Drive. They're going with Shaq Buchanan, A.J. Slaughter, Marcus Thornton, Nick Mayo, and Omari Spellman. And for the Bleed Green, the North Texas alumni team, the seventh seed in the Wichita Regional. The Bleed Green team going with Wendell Mitchell, Shannon Shorter, Mike Miller, Thomas Bell, and Zachary Simmons. We should mention this is a 
an open application tournament. All of these players in this event either chose or were chosen to play for the teams they play for. Anybody can apply, 64 team field, single elimination, winner take all prize of $1 million. Winner of this regional joins the other seven regional winners in Dayton, Ohio, then this weekend for semifinal Saturday, airing on the ESPN family of networks. And again, the TBT bracket for championship week in Dayton, Ohio, the Gutter Cats, Florida TNT, Autism Army, and Heartfire already in there for quarterfinal action in Dayton, Ohio. Then four more winners will be sent over there later this week. And King, uh, you saw the Gutter Cats last week with me in Omaha, what'd you think? They're good, I mean, they led by Tyrese Rice, PJ Peterson. Tyrese Rice, the tournament MVP last year, put on a show uh, in the Sweet 16 round to get to Dayton. Tyrese Rice is probably one of the best guards in here. The team I played for last year, Heartfire, making it to the Elite Eight, man. They got better once they got rid of me, so that, that's great, man. that's great news. There is Matt Brazzi, the head coach of Everline Drive. He played at Arizona in college for his grandfather, the late Luke Olson. Also coached in the NBA as an assistant coach of the Houston Rockets for eight years, joined the Portland Trailblazers this past season. And there is Andre Shaw, the head coach of Bleed Green, currently the director of basketball operations at North Texas. He was a former assistant coach at the McDuffie School, which produced Omari Spellman, who plays for Everline Drive, and they're going at it here today. Yeah, shout out Andre Shaw. Shout out that whole North Texas staff. Grant McCaslin and Coach when I was at Baylor. A uh, great man, great leader. He's done an amazing job with this North Texas team, North Texas program. Completely turned it around. Even pulled off the upset, which we have a player, Thomas Bell, who played in that game against Purdue, the 13-4 upset. Shout out to that whole staff. They're doing amazing things over there. So Bleed Green, the seventh seed. In its first ever TBT, trying to make some memories, make something happen here in Wichita, Kansas, here this week. As both teams come onto the floor, one of four games here today on the ESPN family of networks and the ESPN app, the ninth annual TBT. The 2022 version, bleed green in the green uniforms and Everline Drive in the white. Zach Simmons will jump up against Omari Spellman to begin the game. Opening tap, and here we go, Everline Drive. Last year played in the Wichita Regional, lost in the third round as the top seed, lost to Florida TNT, trying to win this regional, and try and get to a quarterfinal later on next week. Slaughter, baseline shot, and he scores the game's first two. A bucket right there. The first thing I noticed when I look on the court, the, the bleed green do not have much size. If I was Everline, I'm attacking Zachary Simmons, get him in foul trouble because they do not have a lot of size. Good shot right there. Wendell Mitchell knocks in a three to get the bleed green, the bleed green team on the board, and it's a one point game. Bleed green by one. Everline Drive has had success in this tournament over the years. Lost to the finals to Overseas Elite in 2018. Made it to the quarterfinals. Lost to eventual champion Carmen's crew in 2019. 2020 in the bubble eliminated due to a COVID-19 positive case. The two seed, one of the better teams here on paper in TBT, especially in the Wichita Regional. Slaughter for three, puts it in. A.J. Slaughter has all five Everline Drive points by three. Everline Drive by two. You can tell Slaughter is feeling it. The first off balance, one leg shot goes in. The second three goes in. Might have a big night. Here's Mitchell, one on one against Slaughter. Might have been partially blocked by Slaughter. Taken by Spellman for Everline Drive. 
Here comes Shaq Buchanan running the point for Everline Drive, clad in white. They slip it inside, ball knocked away. First turnover on the drive. And a reach-in foul call to the backcourt. It's on Omari Spellman, and that's his first. There's Andre Shaw, coach of the Bleed Green. He played at Division III's Western New England University in Springfield, Massachusetts. Scored over 1,000 points in his collegiate career. I love this matchup right here. Shannon Shorter and Marcus Stoyden. Tough fadeaway, crawls off. Rebound by Spellman for Everline Drive. Here comes Slaughter to Buchanan. Thornton, catch and release three. Might have been partially blocked. Caught on the, on the miss in the air by Shorter. Here comes Bleed Green. He has a mismatch, clear out. Shorter, Simmons, perimeter jump shot, and it goes in for Zach Simmons, his first two points of the game. 6'10", center, who played at North Texas for four years, from 2017 to 2021. They're going to ask a lot out of Zach Simmons tonight because, like I talked about earlier, the size of Bleed Green, they don't have much of it. So they're going to have to ask a lot of Zach Simmons, and he must stay out of foul trouble. The so two turnovers on Everline Drive, tied at 5, 6.27 to go here in the first quarter. Game one of four here today from Wichita on the ESPN Family of Networks. Here's Simmons, they wave off the shot, and whistle blown. And what do we have? The offer was the offer. Hang on. We go back. So we're going to shoot one, and we got ball. OK. We're going to have to shoot one and come back. Oh, wow. Something you really don't see a lot. All right, we're going to shack on uh, Jefferson, right? Hey, Jack. Match up, boy. Hey. Score. So A.J. Slaughter. Marcus. At the line for one shot. Starting 21, Siggers. Puts it in, he has AJ, six. You're here, Stevens. You know, out of all my years of, of doing, being, being, being an analyst, I don't think I've ever seen a team have six players on the court at yep. one time. That was the one shot technical, six players on the court at one time, you can't do it. <laughs> That's an illegal advantage. Here. We got it, we got it. Good catch by our officiating crew. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yep, six. Six have, green shirts. I have never seen that. That's just something that doesn't happen that often because you would think that the person coming in the game would call somebody's name and come get him out. <laughs> you would think. I mean, you're a pro. You, you, you would think so. <laughs> Buchanan lost it, got it back, out of bounds, stays with Everline Drive on this end. Everline Drive, its name comes from an actual street in the suburbs of Detroit, Michigan. The general manager of this team, one of them, Jacob Hirschman, he and his friends grew up playing on Everline Drive. They decided to put a team together for TBT in the first ever year, 2014, based on the street where they played pickup games. And Sports Illustrated ran an article that year in 2014 saying that Everline Drive was the worst team on paper in TBT. This team has really improved over the years. Played for the title four years ago in 2018. Right here, somebody has to step over on the pick and roll. Cannot let the big fella just get an easy lane. And when you do, you have to foul to prevent the two points. Oh. Foul shot missed by Omari Spellman. Played one year at Villanova. Played on that 2018 National Championship team. Drafted in round one. Pick number 30 by the Hawks in the 2018 NBA Draft. One of two for Spellman. His first point of the game. Everline drive in the lead by two. Three minutes and change gone by in the first quarter. Siggers from 19 feet puts it in. Jason Siggers, his first two points of the game. And you know him very well, don't you? Yeah, Siggers is a guy who I've grown up playing against. I mean, he's a little bit older than me, but after being a pro, a lot of open runs, just seeing him, working out with him, he can fill it up. The mid-range jumper, he's a very smart player, knows how to use his body, create angles, create separation. He's a really smart player. 
Shot blocked on the other end by Eberline Drive, taken by Slaughter. His pocket is picked by Shorter. Ball tipped out of bounds, and the officials confer. They say it goes back to Eberline, uh, to Billy Green. Three turnovers now by Eberline Drive in the first quarter. Here comes the bleed green with Shorter, Stevens, Simmons, Jefferson, and Siggers. Tie game at seven. 5.05 to go here in the first quarter. Siggers from the foul line. Not this time. Rebound skied for by Spellman for Everline Drive. In the hands of A.J. Slaughter. Slaughter for three. Puts it in. A.J. Slaughter is second three of the game. He has nine. And Everline drives 10 points here in the first quarter. He's feeling it right now. The big must step up on that ball screen. He's hit two. Stevens tries to answer for a three. That's missed. Rebound by Spellman. Outlet pass to Isaiah Reese. Now they go inside to Mayo. Mayo backs in on shorter. Tough fadeaway. Banks it in. Nick Mayo's first two of the game. And now three Everline Drive players have scored here in the first quarter. That's where Everline Drive has to attack. They have to go down low, go inside, because they definitely have the size advantage. No shot. They wave off. That's an and shot one. on the floor. Foul first on the floor. That's an and one. I don't care. I don't care what, what you look at. That, that's an and one. That should be an and one. Doesn't take a dribble after the foul. That's an and one. You're a pro with playing pro basketball. That right there is continuation and one. He goes straight up. It's and one. So we are playing primarily with NCAA men's basketball rules, a little bit of professional FIBA rules as well, and the NBA rule of six fouls in your out instead of five like it is in college. Spellman down the lane, missing off the glass. Rebound by Shorter. Quick outlet pass goes towards us. <laughs> We're open, but we can't play. Look. And we get a timeout on the court. 3.59 to go in the first. Everline Drive leads it by five. TBT is presented by Puma Basketball and by E&J Brandy, the official spirit of TBT. Talked about the NBA experience these guys have in Everline Drive, but who we didn't mention? A.J. Slaughter, and he brought his A game today. Absolutely draining it from the three. They need to find him and step up, because if they don't, this man is in for a big, big night. 
A.J. Slaughter, nine of the team's 12 points so far. Two summers ago, A.J. Slaughter suffered a heart attack while getting ready for TBT. He had surgery to put a stint in his heart, and his career was in jeopardy. Eventually, he signed with a team in Spain, proved he could play without any restrictions. Now he's on this Everline Drive team and playing in TBT 2022. Shorter comes up short on the single roll. Rebound by Everline Drive. Cower down low, lays it in. First two points of the game for Darnell Coward and Everline Drive is doubled up on Bleed Green. Shorter, collision no call, shot blocked away out of bounds. Stays with Everline Drive, or correction, a Bleed Green underneath. Too much one-on-one -on -one right now. Every single possession, it's the Bleed Green trying to take that man off the bounce. They need more ball movement. More pick and roll action, too much one-on-one. -on -one. The Bleed Green, three of 12 so far from the floor, 25%, shot clock at six. Siggers, pull up jump shot, curls off the rim for him. Out of bounds, stays down here with Bleed Green. So what do you want to see more of from Bleed Green? More side-to-side -side movement, I mean, Every single time, it's one pass. Let me take my man off the bounce. Swing it, swing it. See if you can get the defense to rotate and play out of a closeout. Bleed Green, 0 for its last seven from the field. Shorter. Rebound, Coward for Everline Drive into the hands of Isaiah Reese. Stolen by Bleed Green, fourth turnover on Everline Drive. Shot for three is up and missed by Jefferson. High rebound offensively, and that dunk attempt is missed by Jackson. And the rebound by Everline Drive and reach and foul, 94 feet away for the basket. It's on Jackson, his first. Those are the plays that you have to come up with. You have to get two points out of that. You get a good rebound. You have to go score that. Then you foul 94 feet away from the basket. Not smart. Now you have foul number three with two minutes and 47 seconds to go. You have to score this right here, man. You're a pro. You got to go finish that, get two points. Down by seven. You must score that. A double whammy for Jackson. He misses the jam and then commits a foul. 94 feet from the basket. Here's Slaughter. Nine of the team's 14 points so far for Eveline Drive. Slaughter got tangled up. He's limping, hurt his foot. Oh, man. He might have turned an ankle. He's going straight to the dressing room. Perhaps. Matt Brazi, head coach. Is rolling ankle here? Ooh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, we hope he's okay. We'll get that thing taped up. I feel like he's a tough guy, though. Everything he's went through in his life, he's a tough guy. I feel like he'll be back. Steal by Bleed Green up the floor, the shorter. Goes up against Tima and lays it in. That was a great pass, a 60-foot pass right there from Stevens. That's a great finish for Shorter. That's how you finish. First two points of the game for Shorter. Bleed Green had missed its last 10 shots consecutively before that drought was ended a moment ago on that end of the floor. Here's Coward inside, banks it in. Darnell Coward muscling his way inside, 6'8 forward out of Murray State. Shorter. Into the lane, finds a cutting bell, and he's fouled, and Thomas Bell will head to the line and shoot two. Look at this great pass right here from Stevens. Look at him, puts her right where it needs to go, and great finish. And on the other side, big fella with the moves. Put him in a spin cycle. Good soft touch right there. Thomas Bell makes the first free throw, played three years at North Texas, finished up this past season, averaged 12 points a game in 2021-22, named the Conference USA All-Defensive Team this past season. 6-6 six, six forward, knocks it down, his first two points of the game. Bleed Green cut it down to five, 16-11 inside, two minutes to go here in the first. Right now with Simmons on the bench, it'll be interesting to see with Thomas Bell guarding the five. Will Everline Drive try to go down low and exploit the mismatch? 
Shot for three goes in by Sylvain Francisco. Instant offense off the bench. Kind of like uh, Vinny Johnson, the microwave. Ooh. Heats up in a hurry. I tell you, you know you went to Baylor? Yeah, I see what you did there, Brock. I like that. I like that. Turnover on Bleed Green. Here's Reese, catch and shoot three, and it's good by Isaiah Reese. His first points of the game at Dead Eye Shooter from Canisius. And Everline Drive has his biggest lead of the game of 11. One minute to go here in the first. Look, we talk about going to the inside, but right now the Everline Drive is hidden from, from the perimeter. First. Francisco with the three and then the pass to Reese. I know they better guard the outside because Eberline is heating up. Stevens. Tough shot goes in. Tough fadeaway for Jordan Stevens from the corner. His first two points of the game. That's a much needed shot. Game slowly getting away from you. They definitely needed that bucket. Tima, a deep three. That rims out on him. Rebound by Blee Green. Here's Stevens leading the break. Left-handed shot for two goes in. Along two by Stevens. His second basket is fourth point. Hey, Jordan Stevens is a guy that can get hot really, really fast. Talking about the microwave, he, how he can heat up. Jordan Stevens is one of those guys. Sees the ball go in a few times. He, his confidence grows. And he can get going. Three seconds differential between the shot clock and the game clock as we wind down the first quarter of the game. Francisco with five, step back three, no. Weak side rebound, Buchanan scores! Shaq Buchanan on the offensive putback, his first two of the game. And that shot is too late by Shorter, and that's the end of the first quarter. At the end of one here in Wichita, it is Everline Drive 24 and Bleed Green 15. You're watching. The Wichita Regional, day one and game one here in the Sunflower State, TBT 2022 on ESPN3. Now, so Marcus, you hit Darnell right away, Shaq. I want you coming up. Isaiah's gonna be like right here. Isaiah, Isaiah, I got you, and you are slipping to the rim right now, okay? Giannis and Marcus, you guys are interchanging. Pressure right? Make them come out, make them make the adjustment, but I want you to be you. We're overpassing, we're not getting in a good offense, all right? We're not getting in a good offense. I want to go four out, right? I want to go four out, I want to play off that. They cannot stop us, they can't stop us. But we got to finish plays. We're not guarding. We're not guarding. We got to guard the ball. Hey, right? When their bigs catch it on the elbow, they're not going to kick it out. Coward, Spellman, they're going to drive just like he did. So we can squeeze the gap because Slaughter's not in anymore. So they don't have a ton of shooters right now. So squeeze it when they catch it at the elbow specifically because they're just going to drive, put their head down, and try to score. When that ball is on this side, whatever action it, I want guys at the rim. Right? I want guys at the rim. We, 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 we getting spaced out. All right, we're getting spaced out. Let's go four out, let's go four. The only place to get your official TBT gear is in the TBT store. Support your favorite team and TBT by picking up a hoodie or t-shirt today. Visit store.thetournament.com. Brock Bowling, King McClure with you. Wichita, Kansas, day one, game one of the Wichita Regional. Right now, Eberline Drive leads Lee Green 24 to 15. 
as Eberline drive shot 64% in the first quarter, 31% for Bleed Green. Shot missing by Bleed Green. Rebound by Eberline Drive. Into the hands now of Thornton. Backdoor pass inside Buchanan. Shot blocked and rejected by Bell. Out of bounds. It stays with Eberline Drive underneath. Marcus Thornton has been pretty quiet tonight. Most NBA experience on the court. Let's look to see if he can try to get going this half. Catch and shoot three. Missed by Thornton. Rebound Bell in the lane on the quick outlet pass to Jefferson. Spot up three up in the air. Rebound by Reese for Everline Drive. So Everline Drive is without A.J. Slaughter right now, King. What adjustments, if any, does Everline Drive have to make without A.J. on the floor? You have to find offense somewhere else, but fortunately they have enough guards on their team to be able to do that. Shaq Buchanan just came off the summer league performance. Marcus Storyton, eight plus years of experience. Francisco Silva, you've seen him get hot too. They have guys who can replace him. Giannis, team over the putback two. Here's Jefferson for Bleed Green. One-on-one -on -one against Tima. Jefferson. Too much one-on-one -on -one right there. Got it back. Inside shorter. Leas lays it in. Got bailed out, but too much one-on-one -on -one right there. Too many people standing around. No movement on the offensive end. Oh, that's tough. Buchanan, tough shot. Missing off the window. Rebound by Simmons. Outlet pass to shorter. Bleed Green trying to take advantage. Wide open shot by Jefferson is good. He tickles the twine with a three. His first points of the game. He's down to single digits. Actually, he's down to two possessions, 26-20. Here's Marcus Thornton. We talked about him in the open of our show today to Tima, veteran Latin player or from Latvia. Shot clock inside of 10. Reese against Bell. Stops on a dime and drops it a two. That's nice right there. The ability to stop right there with a quick turnaround. That's a tough bucket. Shorter. Rebound Buchanan for Everline Drive. Leading by eight. In transition is Reese. Tima, that's a three. Rebound, Bell, skies high for the rebound for the bleed green. Jefferson, his catch and shoot three is short. Rebound, back and forth we go. A lot of missed shots here in this last stanza. Up the floor, three on one. Bell falls down, throws it to Tima. Play getting a little sloppy. They need somebody out here to control the pace. Oka pass. Tima scores, lays it in, the assist from Cowan. Sort of Keystone Cops there for a minute. Back and forth and nothing happening, but finally a shot goes in by Tina. Stevens give and go to Simmons, and he's fouled in the last second. Simmons will head to the line and shoot two. Ooh, I don't know if that was a foul. But let's take a look at this pass right here. Big fella showing us his dimes. Good advance, great kick from Buchanan. Oh, with the no look, I love it. Showing the versatility. Set the line, Zach Simmons for Bleed Green. First free throw is good. He has three points. Simmons played four years at North Texas. From 2017 to 2021, started 199 games. You're doing something right if you start 199 yeah, I'm about times. to say that. That's a lot of games. <laughs> 100, hold on, hold on. 199 games at North Texas. That is a lot of games. I think that includes, well, we'll get to the math in a second. Yeah, I'm gonna say we got to do the math on that one because that, that's a lot of games, especially in four years. Unless he got more than four. So Slaughter is back on the bench for Eberline Drive. He went out with a a rolled ankle or a foot back of the bench sitting behind Amari Spellman on the bench over there hopefully he's able to come back and play Buchanan missed Mayo out to Tima for three rebound Stevens for bleed green 
Kima's not going to miss too many. You gotta have somebody guard him and right, be right there on the release. Siggers all the way, scores a two. Jason Siggers, the second basket of the game. Lee Green hanging around, only down two possessions, 30 to 24. Here's Tima. Thornton's hands, been a little quiet so far today in the first half. And he's fouled on his way to the cup. He'll head to the line and shoot two. For this Everline Drive team, last year a number one seed here in Wichita. General manager Matt Mitchell says this team is deeper, it's stronger this year at all positions. It's a good pick and pop team. It'll hit a lot of threes and it'll split, shred the floor. There's head coach Matt Brazzi talking to his team. First shot missed by Thornton and Marcus Thornton's share should Everline Drive win the TBT. It'll be over $58,000 sent with Zell. Fans can win too. Visit the tournament.com slash Zell for information. Over for 2 at the strike. Siggers driving, kicks it out. Jackson, shorter in the corner. Siggers open three. And the rebound on the weak side by Shorter. Jackson, his three is good. Ron Jackson's first points of the game. It's down to a one possession game at 30 to 27. That might have been the best possession we've seen from Bleed Green all game. They swung, swung, hit the extra, hit the one more. Great possession on that end, but you got to get a stop on this end. Isaiah Reese scores an easy two on the other end for Everline Drive. Back and forth we go. Shorter is fouled on the baseline. He will shoot two. Great ball movement leads to a good shot. Look at the cut, the extra one more pass. Could have been on a dime, but it's okay. It's a bucket anyways. And this guy right here, Shannon Short, is playing much bigger than what he really is. Only 6'3", 6'4", but getting rebounds, sticking his nose in there. Playing like he's about 6'7", 6'8", right now. Shorter hits the free throw. He's a veteran player who knows how to fight through adversity. King, he was homeless for a short time when he was younger. Got out of that situation, and he wasn't a high-level scorer in college, according to the staff, but they say he's put in the work to improve. Played at Texas A&M one year, two years at North Texas. Played this past year in Croatia. Man, it's amazing how uh, the, the round ball, this basketball, can change your life and take you to places you thought you would never see. He went from being homeless to being able to travel the world and seeing places a lot of people don't get to see in America. It's crazy how much this game of basketball can do for people. One for two at the line. First miss at the line by Lee Green. Here comes Everline Drive, up by four, Spellman. Fade away three, got it. Oh, Omari Spellman from deep. Knocks in a three, his first basket of the game. He has four points. Oh, that looked good. All right, Omari. <laughs> Siggers, the left-handed floater is good by Siggers. Give him three baskets, six points for the game. And Blee Green hanging around, under four minutes to go in the first half. Second quarter, Everline drive by five points. Blee Green is one of those teams that they're just not going to die. They aren't going anywhere. They're going to compete. That is the culture that North Texas has, and they are going to have that exact same culture today. Omari Spellman showing us why he was drafted number 30. He's not just the inside beast. He can do it on the perimeter, too.
Back here in Wichita, Kansas. Another region just started today as well over in Syracuse, the Syracuse Regional. Second game of the day right now, the NG Saints taking on Blue Collar U. As you see some of the action there, and ooh, someone oh. just got whacked in the face. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely uh, intentional. Well, maybe a flagrant, honestly. So there you see AJ Slaughter in the chair with his teammates rolled his left ankle earlier, went off the court, has not come back into the game yet. Hopefully he'll be okay, but that's a big blow to Everline Drive. So here's Blee Green, down two possessions, five points, shot off the mark by Siggers, and the rebound by Marcus Thornton for Everline Drive. Again, played in this Wichita Regional last year, lost in the third round as a one seed, lost to the five seed Florida TNT, and the staff said they felt last year in that game against Florida TNT that the team just got complacent. And general manager Matt Mitchell says he wants this team to focus, show up, respect all opponents each and every time out on this floor in Wichita. Miller, collision, no call. Here they come, Everline Drive, three on two. Spot up three by Thornton is good. And Marcus Thornton has his first points of the game. Now, I'm, I'm not a referee, right? But that right there, Brock, was a foul. Shorter no, put back yes by Wendell Mitchell, who's in the game for his fifth point of the night. Mayo, rims out, rebound shorter for Bleed Green. Lee Green was down double digits. Now down to single digits, only at six points of deficit, and that foul, a correction of turnover out of bounds off of Lee Green, their fourth. So what do you make of the pace of this, uh, this, this game? Who does it favor? How do you like it? What do you think? Yeah, I think the pace definitely favors the Lee Green because they're shorter, and they can push the tempo, they can speed it up. They have more guards on the court. So I think the pace definitely favors Lee Green, which is why they're able to hang around. Spellman goes oh. up with a jam. It bounces out on him. Fight for the rebound. Spellman had it, lost it, got it back. Outside Francisco, three. Rebound by Bell for Lee Green. The quick outlet pass to Stevens. Lee Green can chip away at the lead some more as Bell lost it out of bounds off of Bell. Goes back over to Everline Drive. Fifth turnover on Lee Green. Your corner, your corner, Sill. Under 100 seconds to go here in the first half. Second quarter, Everline Drive by six. Shaq Buchanan. This is that three, skying to the rebound is Bell for Bleed Green. Shorter, spots up for three. Rebound Buchanan for Eberline Drive, and now Eberline Drive wants to push. Buchanan all the way, lays it in. Second basket for Shaq Buchanan. He has four points in the game. On the other end, the floater is good by Jordan Stevens. He has six. Approaching one minute to go here in the first half. Second quarter, 
six point lead for Everline Drive. Here's Francisco Dipsy oh. New and he scores. That's good patience right there. Put the defender in jail, kept him on his back with the fake. Saw the big jump over. Good layup right there. Quick timeout taken by the Bleed Green. That possession was a little ragged, so they call a timeout. Sylvan Francisco right here. Look at him right here. Puts him in jail. Good patience. Pass fake. Got the big slide over. Francisco with the creativity in the lane. Quick time out taken by Bleed Green. Shooting percentages, uh, Everline Drive now shooting 33%. They've cooled off since the first quarter. Bleed Green shooting 41%. Which one through five, we all got to box out and rebound. Switch one through five. There you see Matt Brazzi, head coach of Everline Drive. Again, we mentioned he's the grandson of Lou Olson, played for his grandfather at Arizona back in the day. Here's Jefferson out of the timeout. Had an open shot for a moment. Mismatch against Kyrie Walker. Shot clock at six. Shorter over Thornton. Tough shot. Nearly banked it in. Offensive rebound. A correction defensive rebound by Walker. Shot clock turned off inside. 25 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Kyrie Walker, the high school phenom. Ten seconds to go. Walker dribbles inside. Leaves it short, rebound, Bell. Up the floor, stolen. Turnover on Lee Green. Half court heave, good if it goes. It is off the mark by Buchanan. And halftime is here. Eberline Drive. The number two seed in the Wichita Regional has an eight point lead. At the break, halftime score, Everline Drive 42 and Lee Green 34. It's halftime in Wichita, Kansas, back after this on ESPN3.
Back here in Wichita, halftime of the game between Eberline Drive and Bleed Green. TBT action continues across the country through August 2nd when we'll crown the $1 million champion. Get your tickets to any of TBT's regional sites or the final rounds in Dayton at thetournament.com slash tickets. Now let's check out last night's action at two other regionals at Xavier and New Mexico. It has been a lot of fun here in Cincinnati, Ohio over the last handful of days, but now the Xavier Regional is over. It all ended on a Thursday night here in Cincinnati, Ohio, the Cintas Center with Florida TNT holding off Zip em Up in a fantastic Elam ending with Robbie Hummel, I am Eric Collins, and Robbie, we expected fantastic basketball. We got it in this championship game with the Xavier Regional. We absolutely did. We had 15 ties, 14 lead changes, both teams playing at a high level. How about Florida TNT coming into a hostile environment and handling business? Samanjay Kristen, 17 points, seven assists, continued his outstanding play. JP McCure gives you 15, but on the flip side, when you look at Florida TNT, this train was driven by Dominique Jones and Chris Warren. Those two guys came up huge all night long, whether it was getting to the paint, making big shots. There's Dominique Jones again flying in there to his 22. Chris Warren's six three-point field goals, just fantastic. A massive, massive win for Florida TNT. This one, the slingshot. Chris Warren, one-on-one, -on -one, exactly who he wanted with J.P. McKira, knocks it down and sends his team to Dayton. Putting a bow on the New Mexico region out here at the pit in Albuquerque where it ended up being three wins in what was four days for Team Heartfire. They punched the fourth ticket to Dayton and the quarterfinals. Matt Martucci, the former Liberty Guard, Tim Scarborough. We watched Heartfire the first two games come out to slow starts. We didn't end up having to deal with that in the finals. What was the difference with them? They came out focused and they really breathed fire on the defensive end which allowed them to ignite their offense. And boy, were they shooting it in early. We didn't see this in the early part of this tournament, but tonight they came out scintillating from three. And it wasn't just one person. At one point they had eight guys hit three-point shots. But then they took the stairway to heaven with Rafael Putney with a couple of open looks around the rim. But Ryan Boatwright came off the bench and stroked fourth from downtown. And then they went into halftime with that three really sending a message. And then the second half, Eric Washington, their every guy, every go-to guy, he did it all and he got into the act. And so many players were really finishing for Hartfire all night long. And the, and the low was being carried by Solomon as you saw that dunk there. But in the end, it was Washington with the slingshot to send Hartfire into the quarterfinals and a ticket to Dayton, Ohio. Mark Dyer, their sponsor, throwing up their placard. They get some time now to sit and enjoy TPT. The Syracuse region, the winner of that one, will meet Heartfire July 29th, 7 Eastern on ESPN. Florida TNT, Americana for Autism. The day before, Gutter Cats gets the winner of Wichita, and then the Dayton region winner, and the West Virginia region, where Tim and I will be. Those two end up matching up on July 29th as well. We can't wait for more TBT for Tim Scarborough. I'm Matt Martucci saying so long from Albuquerque and the pit. We return to normal elevation, folks. And that was some of the action last night at Xavier and New Mexico as two more teams punch their tickets to championship week later this weekend in Dayton, Ohio. Are you a current or former HBCU student? Do you want to make basketball history with TBT and E&J Brandy? If so, visit EJTBT.com today to apply for a paid sports internship with TBT, made possible by E&J Brandy. Again, it's halftime of the Everline Drive Bleed Green game. Stats and highlights coming up next here on ESPN3.
back in Wichita, Kansas. Halftime score. Getting start, getting ready to start the third quarter of play. Everline Drive 42, Bleed Green 34. Brock Bowling, King McClure with you. Let's take a look at our first half highlights. Start with Bleed Green and King. Bleed Green played better in the second quarter compared to the first. They did. They moved the ball a little bit better. It's a very balanced scoring attack we see from both teams. Stevens is a guy who I think can really have a big second half. But for Everline Drive, I mean, it started off with A.J. Slaughter, went out the game early. But they have guards who can pick it up like this guy right here. Shaq Buchanan can pick up the scoring. Great guard, especially in the open court. But A.J. Slaughter started it all, got them rolling. And then right here on this play, tough play went down. I hope he's okay. Hope he can bounce back. But they need to pick him up. They need some. They need another guard to pick up this second half in order to keep this lead. Yeah, AJ Slaughter uh, came out of the game. He has not returned. Still icing that left ankle on the bench. Here's a look at the first half stats. A look at the shooting percentages. Everline Drive 44%, Bleed Green 35%. Points of the paint in favor of Everline Drive. 17 players have scored in this game. As we start the third quarter of play, Everline Drive by eight, 42-34. Reese spinning around, a little pirouette, leaves the jump shot short. Rebound by Bleed Green. Stevens Ogapet. slips it inside and turns it over. Turnover on Bleed Green, number seven in the game. All the way scoring. Oh, not scoring is Thornton, but on the tip it. It's good by Shaq Buchanan. The ball was halfway down, spun out, but Buchanan there for the cleanup. And now Everline Drive up by 10, 44-34. Bell, good no-look pass. Stevens puts a high arcing oh. shot up in the air, and it's good by Stevens, his eighth point of the game, fourth basket for Jordan Stevens. Stevens has to get going. They have to get him going in order to cut this lead down. Turnover on Everline Drive. Here's Jefferson out ahead of the pack, lays it up and in by Brandon Jefferson. He has five, seven turnovers on Everline Drive. Down to a six point game. Reese picked up by Stevens. Skip pass in the corner. Thornton short on that three. Rebound Simmons for Bleed Green. First ever time in TBT for the Bleed Green North Texas alumni team. Shot for three misses by Stevens. Rebound Spellman for Everline Drive. You see Shaq Buchanan saying, slow down. Let's slow down the offense. Get a good shot. Mayo stumbles out to Spellman, a deep three, puts it in. Wow, what a shot by Omari Spellman, his second three of the game. He has seven points. And a reach-in foul down low on Everline Drive. Sheesh. Omari Spellman right here. Letting it fly. That's twice today. Shooting it down, shooting it from a deep range. Super versatile. I, I love what we're seeing from Amari Spellman. Yeah, he wanted a, uh, a four-point play. Yeah, he might have he, he flopped a little bit right there, man. All right, so King, A.J. Slaughter continues to be out of the game with that ankle injury that he rolled in the first quarter. How does Bleed Green attack here against this Everline drive team? Well, if I'm Bleed Green, I'm really putting Amari Spellman in the pick and roll. I mean, big fella, we got to test his mobility. See if he can guard in the perimeter and put him in a lot of pick and roll situations, see what you can create. Like right there, maybe through a better pass. It might have been a bucket, but put the big fella in situations to where you can have advantages and make them play out of closeouts. Reach in foul, called on Jefferson. That's his second. Again, this is an open application tournament. All these players in TBT either chose or were chosen to play for these teams. 64 team field, single elimination event, eight regionals, eight winners of the regionals go on to the 
quarterfinals and semis next week. As that alley blob is broken up, taken by Blee Green, shot for three by Jefferson is good. He's heating it up. He has his second three of the game. He has eight points and the lead is down to six. Buchanan all the way, left hand, no, he can't finish. Rebound Bell, throws it away. Reese for three, yes. Isaiah Reese with a three, his second of the game. He's in now in double figures with 10 points. A terrible turnover. That's a, that's a tough turnover right now. Play getting a little bit sloppy. See if they can control it, get the pace under control. Shorter trying to create. Out to Stevens. Shot up over Mayo. It's short this time. Rebound Spellman. Throws it away again. Stevens, a three. Puts it in. Another three by Stevens for Bleed Green. He has 11 points in the game. The lead is down to six. And a timeout taken by Everline Drive. Things getting a little sloppy, careless turnovers. You cannot turn the ball over in your own side of the court because if you do, bad things will happen as we see these last two possessions. Two easy, wide open threes because of careless turnovers. TBT action continues across the country throughout August 2nd, when we'll crown the $1 million champion. Get your tickets to any of TBT's regional sites or the final rounds in Dayton at thetournament.com slash tickets. You and I have two of the better seats in the house. <laughs> Charles Koch Arena, Wichita, Kansas. There's Andre Shaw, head coach of Lee Green. Uh, coach Shaw, he Originally is from New York City. He attended four different high schools in four different solid, states. Solid, solid. That's hard to do. Yeah. But he pulled it off. That's pretty tough. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of traveling. Reese Spellman in the corner. Francisco wide open. Three goes in for Francisco. His second tray of the game. He has eight points. That's just good basketball right there. Hit the skip pass. Omari Spellman hit the one more in the corner. Easy shot, that's great basketball. Jefferson, now to Shorter. The pump fake over Reese, shot for three, short. Rebound, Bell's been very active on both ends of the glass. Collision, they call an offensive foul on Bell. This is the right call right here. Way to take it. Shaq Buchanan stepped up. That's a charge. Thomas Bell, named the Conference USA All Defensive Team this past year at North Texas. Coach Shaw calls him a, a tough four man who plays well on the perimeter as well. He's worked on his shot, plays with that dog mentality. Plays aggressively, reach in foul called on shorter. And a Coach Shaw said before the game that uh, he likes the, the versatility in this team of Lee Green. It has a lot of interchangeable parts. His guards shoot well. Says it's a good group of guys that are determined to win. Playing in their first ever TPT. Extra pass. Out of bounds. Stays with Everline Drive. Now, Isaiah Reese has played really well tonight. Not a guy who we really would expect to play well when you have A.J. Slaughter and Marcus Stoyden, but he's really taken that lead as, a, as the point guard and been that guy who can not just score but facilitate and get Everline drive into their offense. Mayo, catch and shoot three, short, rebound offensively by Reese. Foul line jumper goes in by Reese. He now has 12 points in the game. Everline drive, extending the lead to nine. Jefferson's three is good for Bleed Green. That's his third three of the game. He has 11 points. And the guard play keeping Bleed Green in this game. Down eight, approaching four minutes to go, third quarter. Hey, Brandon Jefferson can do that. I mean, in college, he averaged 22 points per game in a season. He's known to get buckets. Nick Mayo flies down the lane. Left-handed jam by Mayo. Nice assist by Buchanan, and Mayo has four points. Oh, 
Jefferson. That's oh. another three by Jefferson. He's keeping Bleed Green in this game. He has four threes in the game. He has 14 points. Lead is seven. The lob and the slam thrown down by Spellman. The assist from Sylvain Francisco. Nine points for Spellman. Nine point lead for Everline Drive. Here's a mismatch. Jefferson on Spellman. In the corner, catch and shoot three. Not this time. Rebound to Cannon for Everline Drive. And the outlet pass over to Reese. Reese, a three. Rebound Simmons. Under three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Shorter, left wide open. And he hits a three. It's a good sign right there. Shorter has been struggling today. And that's a good sign for him to see his first one go in. Eight points for Shorter. That's his first three. Here comes Everline Drive, leading by six and a reach-in foul called on Stevens. And we get a timeout on the court. Omari oh, Spellman going up, catching the lob and on the other end. Shannon Shorter wasn't short on this one. Popping, quick one, right? Let's see if we can get this log. Let's see if we can get this log. Hey! Hey! Look, look, Jason, right? Chuck, BJ, Ron, right? You see it? Look, uh, BJ, you here? Chuck, I want you to set this for uh for Jason, right? Jason, you're going right into a pick and pop. Ron, you're going to follow with a quick one. Ron, you're going to follow with a quick one. Chuck, after you set after you set this one, you're going out. You're spacing up here, Shannon. You're spacing up here. So look, we're going to set this pin, we're going to set this zipper right into a ball screen. You popping. Ron, you're going to follow, right? We're going to see if we can turn the corner, see if we can get this lob, right? See if we can get this lob. So Chuck, you're setting it and you're going here. Shannon, you're going to rise up. I want to set... I, I want this lob. If I could get the lob, if not, if not, they'll switch. They'll switch out, right? They'll switch out, and you go to work. BJ, you here? Chuck, I want you to set this for uh for Jason, right? Jason, you're going right into a pick and pop. Ron, you're going to follow with a quick one. Ron, you're going to follow with a quick one. Chuck, after you set after you set this one, you're going out. You're spacing up here, Shannon. You're spacing up here. So look, we're going to set this pin, we're going to set this zipper right into a ball screen. You popping. Ron, you're going to follow, right? We're going to see if we can turn the corner, see if we can get this lob, right? See if we can get this lob. So, Chuck, you In the huddle is brought to you by Puma Basketball. Andre Shaw talking to his team, trying to set something up here on the next possession. It's down to six in the game. Traveling forced by Bleed Green. Turnover on Everline Drive. It's 10th of the game. What do, what do you make of the uh, play call he's drawn up? Let's see the drawn up play right now. Let's see if it works. He said the zipper into the... The zipper into the ball screen, I kind of like this action right here, especially with Sigurds having the, the four on him and the bigger guy. Sigurds missing the bank. Rebound by Cowart for Everline Drive. Everline Drive led by as many as 11 in the first quarter. Now the lead is down to six. That was good execution. They got a great look out of it. Just a missed shot. Cowart missing the floater. His putback, though, is good. 
Wasn't boxed out. He has his third basket, his sixth point of the game. The lead is eight. Under two minutes to go in the third. Shorter. Siggers. Mitchell. Three. No. Rebound. Coward again on the glass for Everline Drive. Francisco to Tima in the corner. Buchanan for three. Got it. Oh, what ball movement by Everline Drive. A three goes down for Buchanan. His first tray of the game. He has nine points. And the lead is just like that, up to 11. Everline Drive is sharing the ball really well right now. That's why they're taking the lead, being able to take easy shots and make these easy shots, because they're sharing the ball really well. Francisco finds Tima behind the back, bounce pass, Reese for three, not this time for Everline Drive. Rebound by Jackson on the weak side for Bleed Green. Shorter bulldozing his way down the lane, and he scores. Shorter with 10. Lead back to single digits with a minute to go here in the third quarter. Francisco, wide open, Buchanan spots it up, and he way overshoots that three. Rebound on the weak side by Bleed Green. Oh, it's still a good look. Look at the looks that Everline is getting compared to the looks that Bleed Green is getting. Shorter. Rebound, Everline drive. About a three-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock as we wind down quarter number three. Ten to shoot. Shot clock at five. Here's Francisco. Whips it into Cowards. Collects himself. Fouled with three on the shot clock. Fouled by Shorter, his second. And Cowards will head to the line to shoot two. Francisco off a of pick and roll is so dangerous. He takes his time. He's always looking. Always sees the mismatch or the advantage of the open guy. I love Francisco in this ball screen action. Cowart makes the first free throw. And for Darnell Cowart, if his team, Everline Drive, the wins, TBT, his winning prize, will be sent with Zell. His prize will be 58,823. Fans can win too. Visit the tournament.com slash Zell for information. Two seconds to go here in the quarter. Siggers fouled on the floor for Bleed Green. <laughs> so 1.4 to go here in the third quarter. Bell to inbound, shorter, three at the buzzer, missed, and that's the end of the third quarter. Everline drive by 10 after three, fourth quarter coming up here on ESPN3. TBT is presented by Puma Basketball and by Sling TV, the official streaming partner of TBT.
back in Wichita. Here are the tickets punched so far to the quarterfinals. The Gutter Cats, Americana for Autism, Florida TNT, and Heartfire. They are all in, still to be, to be determined. The Syracuse Regional here in Wichita as well, West Virginia, and Dayton. Exciting stuff, King. Quarterfinals halfway filled. And you have some good teams. Out of those four teams, uh, I think all four of those have a legit chance to win the, the, the TBT and win the million dollars. So it should be interesting. And you have four more regions with great teams in it as well. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the tournament. Yeah, and uh, keep in mind, you saw the Gutter Cats. They won the Omaha Regional last weekend. The Gutter Cats will come here to play the winner of the Wichita Regional in a quarterfinal game on Wednesday night, July 27th. So one quarterfinal game is here in Wichita. The other three are in Dayton. Semis and title game in Dayton as well. As we go for the chase for $1 million for one of these teams here in TBT. Shot for three, missed by Buchanan. Rebound by Bleed Green. Out of bounds, turnover on Bleed Green, number 11. So you played in TBT last year. Um, your team did not win the million dollars, but what does it take yeah. for a TBT team to go far in this in this event? It takes a lot of focus because in a moment like this, like Bleed Green is down by 10. Right now, you're no longer playing the clock. You're playing the score. You have to cut the lead down piece by piece, right? Normally, it's like, okay, we have eight minutes to score this amount of points. No. Because at the end of the day, once they shut the clock off and it's the Elam ending, it's all about scoring. So you have to slowly cut down the lead piece by piece and try to get on the run. Shot for three, missed by Siggers. Offensive rebound, shorter. Reverse layup, no. Rebound by Kyrie Walker for Everline Drive. Taken away, though, by Jefferson for Bleed Green. Shorter, step back three, got it. Shannon Shorter is second three of the game. He has 13. Lee Green trying to hang around, down 12, seven, make it a down 11, 7.28 to go. That's a big shot right there. Now you just have to slowly get stops, get stops and get buckets. That's all the fourth quarter is about. Correction, a nine point lead now for Everline Drive. And they're slow to put the points on the scoreboard. Now they got it, rebound by Lee Green. Here's Shorter. Good defense by Francisco into Bell's hands. Left-handed shot, got it back. Score the basket and one for Thomas Bell, his first field goal of the game, a chance for a three-point play. Thomas Bell getting it done on both sides. Look at the blocking on the other side, the bucket, the strong take, getting his own rebound, and one. Thomas Bell at the line. His winning prize money will be sent with Zell should Bleed Green win TBT. His share, $62,500. Fans can win too. Visit thetournament.com slash Zell for information. Cowart in the lane, tough shot, oh, and he puts it in. Wow, he's been so active on both ends of the floor. He has 11 points in the game. Lead is nine for Everline Drive, 69-60. You know, his footwork and his touchdown low is so impressive. He's honestly been the best big in this game. Bell bumped, fouled by Cowart. Look at the footwork right here by Cowart. Twinkle toes in the paint right there. Howard with the spin move and a pretty touch off the glass. Timeout taken, a 30 second timeout. Let's listen in on the bleed green huddle. Let's go, Jordan. Let's go, uh, Shannon. Let's go, BJ, Thomas, Jason, right? Set the screen, and you're coming off here. Right, you got it? You got it? Let's go. That's in the huddle presented by Puma Basketball. 
Andre Shaw played at Western New England University, a Division III school in Springfield, Massachusetts. Scored over 1,000 career points. The director of basketball operations currently at North Texas, now coaching this bleed green team, the North Texas alumni team, in its first ever appearance in TBT. Siggers stopped. Here's Shorter, eight to shoot. Going too much with the ball. Turns it over, number 12 on Bleed Green. Francisco flies up the floor, and he leaves it short. Missed the bunny. Out of bounds to Bleed Green. All right, so King, we're a little bit over two minutes away from the start of the Elam ending. Bleed Green is down nine. Bleed Green is down seven. What kind of a chance do you get Bleed Green? What do they need to be down by? They have a shot at the Elam. Down by seven right now. I say down by four. You're four or less. That's very manageable. Maybe six. But four or less is very manageable, and I think they can do it. Turnover on e Everline Drive. Here comes Bleed Green. Jefferson, he's been hot here in the second half. That's a long three by Jefferson. It's good. Oh, what a shot by Jefferson. 17 points in the game. He has five threes in the game, and it's a four-point lead for Everline Drive. Bleed Green is one of those teams, talked about it earlier, they're not going anywhere. They will not die. They will continue to stay in this game because they fight. That is the culture that is at North Texas, and that's the culture that Andre Shaw and his team will have deep three right there. This team isn't going anywhere. Is that about a 30-footer? Yeah, it might have been. Might have been. You know, I'm not really good with, uh, with the metric system. <laughs> <laughs> At least a 25 foot. Here's Reese. <laughs> Missing from three. Rebound Jefferson. Bleed Green could cut it down to two or one points here in the third in the fourth quarter. Five minutes to go. Bell spinning in the lane. Drops it in for two. Bell with six points, and now the lead is down to two. You know, I, I kind of like that right there. I like this Jefferson Bell pick and roll action, putting Spellman in the pick and roll, making him guard. I really like that. They need to keep going to that. You see the run, 12-2 run by Bleed Green in just over three minutes. See, this is why we love TBT, because they're not playing this, the clock. It's all about scoring. Francisco draws the contact. And the foul, missing the shot. He'll head of the line and shoot two. Hey, I think this is the matchup they can exploit right now. Thomas Bell in the pick and roll. Make Omari Spellman guard, because Thomas Bell truly is not really a post player. He is more of a perimeter player who plays down low because of his versatility. Exploit that matchup. Sylvain Francisco at the line, played high school basketball in Florida. Went to France, played for three different club teams, played this past year in Spain. And the coaching staff calls Francisco a dynamic point guard, extremely athletic, gets to the rim for layups and dunks. And they say defensively, he will pick you up 94 feet. They say he's kind of a pest on deep. Makes both. Lead is back up to four for Everline Drive. 4.20 to go. And 20 seconds to go until the Elam ending begins. Don't be surprised if they hold it until the last or under four minutes to call timeout. Yep. Uh oh. Now the timeout is called by Matt Brazzi. Target score will be 79. First team to 79 points wins this game. Elam ending coming up in a moment on ESPN3.
Time now for the Elam ending. And the slingshot, the Elam ending is presented by Sling TV, home of the best deal for streaming sports, news, and entertainment. Here are the rules for the Elam ending, sponsored by Sling. First stoppage, under four minutes to go in the game. The game clock shuts off. Shot clock still in effect. They'll add eight points to the leading team's score to set the target score. First team to reach the target score wins the game. All games in on a slingshot for the winner. First team to 79 wins. Reese inside, missed. And did not hit the rim on the shot. Shot clock violation, turnover on Everline Drive. It's 13th of the game. Down by four with the Elam ending. This is very manageable for Bleed Green. Here comes Bleed Green. Trailed by as many as 11 points on a couple of different occasions in this game. Now down just four. At the start of the Elam ending. Shorter forcing up a long three. And he rims it in there for Shorter. Another three by Shorter, his third of the game. All three of his threes in the second half. 16 points for Shorter, and the lead is down to one. That's a tough shot right there. Steal oh, by steal. Siggers, out ahead of the pack. He'll drive, and he oh. misses the layup. It falls out of his hands. Rebound taken by Buchanan, and Everline drive. It just slipped out of his hands as he went up for the layup try, hit the glass, and came up empty. One point game. Got to get another stop right here if you bleed green. Buchanan step over, three, no. Rebound by Bell, and bleed green can take the lead on this trip. Had a chance a moment ago. Came up empty. The defense right there by Francisco. Just being a pest, being able to fight over those ball screens. Shorter backs in, goes to the fadeaway, and it crawls off. Rebound by Spellman. For Everline Drive. One point game. Everline Drive still looking for its first point so far during the Elam ending. Reach in foul called on Bell. But Bleed Green is second. And you mentioned that Bleed Green needed to be four points or under entering the Elam ending. They were down four, now just down one. You got to think the confidence is brewing here for Bleed Green. Yeah, you hit one shot, now it's a two point game. Well, if you hit a three, now it's a one point game. Race for three. Put back, attempt missed by Mayo. Rebound shorter for Bleed Green. Here comes Bell down the lane. Tough shot. Out of bounds, stays with Bleed Green underneath. Bell should have kicked that. Should have kicked that to the corner. Jason Siggers wide open. Nobody within three feet of him. Should have kicked that up. Look how open he is in the corner. Nobody within three feet of him. Wide open. Should have kicked that. Gave that up earlier. Stevens in the trees. Tough fadeaway. Off the mark. Rebound by Buchanan. Oh. Everline Drive has numbers. Bell took a fell, uh, took a fall down as he fell down hard on the other end. Shot for three in the corner is up and missed by Amari Spellman. Here comes Shannon Shorter. Numbers for Bleed Green. Siggers back to Shorter. 18 points for Shannon Shorter. 13 since the halftime break, and the Bleed Green has a one-point lead here in the Elam Indy. This is interesting right now. It seems like the Bleed Green kind of has the home crowd in. It's a lot of Wichita State and Kansas State fans here. Spellman, offensive foul. They say he over the shoulder. Foul on Spellman, and they go back the other way. That's not a good call, and the reason why, if you want the charge, you are always taught at Baylor. You have to fall and yell. Thomas Bell did not fall. This is not a good call. If you want it, fall as soon as you hit the contact. He did not fall, stood straight up. That is a block. Not a charge. He beat him to the spot. All he had to do was fall and take it. I disagree with the call. Bleed Green in the lead by one here in the Elam Indic. First team to 79 wins. Shorter decks in on Francisco, making a oh. cannon, I should say. And Good. wow, what a shot by Shorter. 
players trade ball over, and he has a game high 20 points, and now Blue Green five points away from victory. Oh, Shannon Short is showing why we talked about him in the open right now, Brock, making this look real good. Everline Drive is yet to score a point in the Elam ending reach in foul called on Jason Siggers. That's his second. This is a tough bucket right here, Shannon Shorter. The step back because he shoots the ball behind his head is so hard to contest. Good bucket. Game on the line. Shannon Shorter wants the basketball. Spellman gets away from the defender, goes inside, banks it in with the left hand. Wow, what a shot by Amari Spellman. He has 11. That's the first points by Everline Drive since the start of the Elam ending. One point game. Bleed Green with the ball in the lead by one. You have to keep going to who's hot. Going to Jefferson or Shorter right now. And Shorter has the last seven consecutive points for Bleed Green. That oh. shot for three is way short by Jefferson. Cut by Francisco. Francisco down the lane to the rack. And he is blocked out of bounds off of Shorter. Stays with Everline Drive underneath. This is a great block right here. Shorter doing it on the offensive end and the defensive end. But here's what we have to pay attention to. Bleed Green has four fouls. On the fifth foul, they, uh, the offensive team gets the free throw and the ball back. They cannot foul anymore. Inside pass missed by Francisco oh. underneath and a late foul called on Bleed Green. It's on Jefferson. That's his third of the game. He fouled Francisco and Francisco a little shaken up. Let me take a look at this one. That, that, you can't call that. I, I disagree with that. I don't think that's a foul right there. That's out of his control. He dove for the ball. You cannot call that foul, especially game on the line, Elam ending. Now that puts Reed Green at five fouls. Now every time they foul, Evelyn Drive gets a free throw and the ball back. This could come back to hurt him. Here's Francisco. 6-1 guard, played in Spain this past year. Spent several years in France. First free throw is good. Give him 11 points in the game. Off the bench. Good sign for Everlyn Drive. A.J. Slaughter has been standing up on the sideline, has been over there cheering, clapping on his teammates, talking a little bit of trash. Good sign for Everlyn Drive to see him on his feet. He goes two for two. Everline Drive, seven of 11 at the line. Everline Drive back in the lead by one. Now Bleed Green with the ball, here's Stevens. Timeout taken by Andre Shaw and Bleed Green. And how about Shannon Shorter, King, in the fourth quarter and in the Elam ending. He's been outstanding here today, a game high 20 points and he has three threes. Yeah, he struggled at first, we talked about him in the open came out here and struggled, but look at this three right there from the low goal. Shooting that from almost the parking lot and oh, the Kobe fadeaway right here. Shannon Shorter putting the team on his back. The vet, the experienced Dallas legend, not letting his team go anywhere. He has 20 points, 15 of his 20 have come since the halftime break. He has three threes, he's made eight shots. He's really carried this team here in the fourth quarter and during the Elam ending. Again, this is a young man who was homeless oh, at one point in his youth. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Uh, look, look, look. BJ. Yeah. BJ. You coming on? Yeah. Right? Shannon, you're going opposite. You, you're going, uh, you're going, Jason, you're going oak. You're going to set the screen. Hey, we're going, right? we're going, hey, so Jason, hey, Jason, hey, Jason you're going it. here. You're going to loop over and set No, you're setting it over here. BJ's going this way. You're setting it up this way. Hey. That's in the huddle, presented by Puma Basketball. So what will the bleed green drive here? Down one, first team to 79 wins here during the Elam Indy. Eight to shoot. Jefferson into the lane, all the way, scores for two. Jefferson has played extremely well tonight. Hit big shot after big shot after big shot. 
Now the bleed green has to get stopped on this end. Jefferson with 19, and now bleed green back in the lead by one. Shaq Buchanan into the lane over Bell. Counted and one. Wow, what a tough shot by Buchanan. His 13th point of the game. And Everline drive with a chance for a three-point play. Oh, this is a tough bucket, one-on-one. -on -one. Mono e mano. Take the contact. Shaq Buchanan. And one. So one shot for Shaq Buchanan, played two years at Murray State. He spent the last three years in the NBA with the Memphis Grizzlies. And Everline Drive's staff said that uh, Buchanan will be one of the most athletic guys we'll see in TBT this season. Completes the three-point play. Everline Drive just one point away from the win. Bleed Green, a three-pointer away from the win. They can win it right here. Shorter for the win, no! Rebound by Thornton. And now Everline Drive can win it on this trip. Have to get a stop, big stop right here. Big stop, uh-oh, Shaq Buchanan wants it. One-on-one -on -one again, mano y mano. Who will win this matchup? Buchanan makes his move. Thornton for the win. Leaves it short, rebound by Reese. Shot clock recess to 20. Reese in trouble. And a steal by Bleed Green. Turnover on Everline Drive, and now Bleed Green can win with a three right here. Uh -oh. For the win, Jefferson, no, got it back. Offensive rebound, Stevens for the win. Yes! That's your slingshot winner. Oh, and wow. Everline Drive is defeated. The upset goes to Bleed Green. In its first ever TBT, Bleed Green, the North Texas alumni team, as a seven seed knocks off the two seed of the line drive, and Bleed Green is going to the second round tomorrow night. Brock, this is what happens. You, you let, let teams stay in the game, they gain confidence, you don't put them away, and they end up winning the ball games. This year, E&J Brandy is awarding $10,000 to the team with the best post-game celebration. And now Bleed Green will celebrate and put its name into the next slot on the bracket. Here's the game winner. Stevens, the winner. That's the slingshot presented by Sling. What an ending you for know, Lee Green. Everline Drive did it to themselves. For a guy who is 5'10", 5'10", Jefferson getting his own rebound off shooting the three. Absolutely unacceptable. And then great kick out to find Stevens. Everline Drive did it to themselves. Did not put them away. When you don't put a team away, you end up getting upset. Here's the updated bracket. You see Lee Green moves on to the second round tomorrow night. Our next game here on ESPN3 will be at 4 o'clock Eastern, 3 Central, the Air Raiders, the Texas Tech alumni team, the 4 seed taking on the 5 seed, the B1 Ballers. Game one of the books. Three more to go here in Wichita here on game one, day one of the 2022 Wichita Regional and TBT. Final score for the final time, 79 to 77 in favor of Bleed Green. For King McClure, Brock Bowling, so long for now. We'll see you at the top of the hour for Air Raiders against B1 Ballers. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.